everyone, it is Liam Catterson here and we're back at it again with another episode of Angel as we are on episode number 14 of season 3. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like, how we're going to top the last episode. Um, because the last episode for me, and this is an understatement and a half, it was really incredible. I just really loved everything that went down. It pushed um, certain relationships together. Um, the uh, Grusalog has returned. So, yeah, that breaks my heart because Angel and Cordy, I felt like, I felt like the last episode, if anything, um, just threw me in to the, I guess, deep end of the Kangel ship. I'm now fully on board with it. So, and on that same episode, the Grusalug returned. So that's great. But no, the entire story was just really beautiful, even on a haunting level. And it had that level of sinister that really blew me away. So I really enjoyed the last episode. Excited to see, I guess I am excited to see what happens in this episode, even though I'm going to be preparing myself for my heart to be broken again now that the gruesome look has returned. I mean, I like the dude. It's just the timing couldn't have been any worse, could it? When I'm fully in deep with the Kangel ship and... Yeah. So yeah, with that said, let's get into episode number 14 of season three of Angel. Looking forward to checking this episode out. So with that said, let's go. I don't know. Maybe because I don't remember you wearing this perfume when you left this evening. <laughs> okay, there may have been some magic. just trying to downplay the Grusalug. Actual magic, Lauren. To preserve, I guess, happened, his feelings. It's worn off now. There's nothing between Cordelia and me. I'm sure there is. And it's got arms like steel. Actions into coalitions. The coalitions turned into subcommittees. Until finally, the more radical elements, spurred by a charismatic leader, did the dance of revolution. Oh, is that? Yeah. We don't talk about. Yeah. And here you are. But I heard he died on his way back to his home planet. So. You don't miss it? You know. Yeah. That left when you did. I want to say or, but I'm also like. <laughs> oh boy. Unless he's a demon pretending to be the Grusalug. <gasps> whoa, whoa! What's this? Something what? wrong. What? What was that? Wait, did I just do what I did again? Angel, we can't be afraid to ask the questions because your enemies, his enemies, certainly won't be. Mm. You're right. We should be prepared. I'm glad you agree. Still a lot of heat, even if the sense is um, cold at the minute. We'll have to look elsewhere for our answers. Well, we both know where those prophecies went. Maybe it's time we make another assault on Wolfram and Hart. Well, that might not be necessary. Not yet, anyway. There should be other sources. I think they're still recovering after you roasted them at the end of episode yes. 10. Your weapons are most impressive. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Can you ask him not to handle my weapons? Oh, relax. If there's one thing Brew knows, it's how to handle a nope. weapon. Poor guy. Looks like that's about nope. all he's going to be handling. I'm going to bother you guys in the middle of the night because I want sex and can't have it. Actually, I meant the vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Well, it's not rising up till sometime later today. Oh. Why can't you have sex? I could lose my virginity. You want to play? Oh play? yeah, yeah. Vision, it's he. The vision. A, a slippery slope that once you're on, that that you could slide. <laughs> oh no. Be upsetting the average around here. Nobody in this office is ever gonna get any. Oh, that is a kick in the face! It's funny, everything's so bright, my eyes hurt. Oh, here you go. Thank Thanks. you. Oh, oh. How are we gonna work this? Like we always do, we'll split it. But you hardly ordered anything. That's the only splitting so we'll do. Value. Really, tracking it will be simple. Killing it. More difficult. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gru, you go with Angel. Let's move out. Uh, is that really a good idea? <laughs> I, I don't know 
don't think that's such a great idea. I mean, you know, you know I'm more of a loner. And he plays, he's so, like, bulky. No, when you're in class really, and you're partnered with someone that you're not really fond of. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I shall present the... He's gonna handle it, isn't he? Oh! Ew. Oh, I know where this is going. Oh, yeah. We can spare someone to keep an anonymous fake fiance. Gun. <laughs> wow. Involved, we should probably look into it. But, uh, <laughs> gun, uh, Miss Frakes needs some surveillance work. I thought if you were free. Yeah, not a problem. Good. She'll give you the details. I'll leave it in your hands. Sure thing. We won't let you down. You're the reason we've all come together. It's your mission which animates us. Oh, we Wesley. It's true, but you... You're unique. You're like one of these rare volumes. One of a kind. I got oh, that's, three of them. That's <laughs> that's kind of nice, though. Sweet, and there is a definite thing here. It's just you're afraid that with me, you will be less than what you were. Oh, scary! Like you should. You'd think you'd have the ability to choose if you want to give up your powers as well, like when they're, yeah. Pants, voodoo booty rituals. Voodoo booty rituals? <laughs> Shake that booty <laughs> and... <laughs> then there's the all-powerful, big brown, soulful eyes kind of magic. Kind of familiar with that one myself. This is wholesome! Mm. The truth is, you and the Grusla are two totally different people. Hello. Who look exactly alike. Oh. My. Clothes. Yeah! Um. <laughs> Just tell me what I can do. I need you to help me have sex. With Groot. I mean, oh, well. <laughs> it's not his day. <laughs> so I started researching, and anyway, I'm right. There is a potion, a protective potion. I take it and bang. I oh, that's m not metaphorical. A potion. Yeah, anyway, this woman's name is Anita, and she's kind of in the business, makes love potions. Oh, Angel. Like that. She says she's got just. There he is. Where's Blake? Ew. Well, that can't be good. Fun? Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love your outfit. Teeth you have. Well, fear not, friend. We're here to save you. <laughs> this is not. No. Hey, no. Get off. No. No. Gru, Gru. I, I, I think he's happy there. <laughs> Don't judge me. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. If you just give us the potion, we'll you be on. You cash? Some rude, crazy tree like demon y thing. With what looks like a DSL connection. Uh -huh. Wow. Parts online and sucks them down here for food. Like maybe it gets its power that way. Monster's got a More big bit. leathery joint jammed into the guy. I think it's sucking the life out of him. Uh, what? Have you called Wesley yet? Bit extreme, right? We were kind of hoping we wouldn't have to. I don't understand. He is the Grusalog. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna try and test his worth compared to Honestly, the Grusalog? Better than other men. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of cold in there, but hey, don't let that stop you. Ah. 
That's a... Ugh. What are you, her brother? <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Wesley, uh, she chose. That's it, though. He's looking out for her. It's just important to me that she's taken care of. Way. Making sure that she's not hurt. She will be. Good. Don't come in tomorrow. In fact, don't come in for a couple of weeks. Take Gru someplace you know, nice, someplace where there's Aww. sun. You'd like that. Angel. Promise me. He just wants her to be happy and for Gru to, I guess, okay. adjust, so. <laughs> Didn't hurt a bit. I don't think his uh, physical injuries are the thing that hurts at the minute. Ooh. Kind of hurts with Wesley, just. Yeah. Not ominous. Um, mistranslation, maybe? I don't know. No, no. Unless. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh. Not settling, is it? But neither was this episode. Like, for some odd reason, it just had a, um. Humorous vibe instilled to it with her because I mean, unless you were never a Kangel guy, so not concerning whatsoever. Um, but like all prophecies on Angel and Buffy, there's always another layer to it, there's always a twist. It's not just as um blunt, like um, spoiler alert, yeah, Angel's gonna kill Connor, so um, and it would be pretty, pretty dark, but. This is the thing with prophecies. This has always been the thing with the Buffyverse and, and prophecies. There's always something more. Kind of like uh, earlier this season, um, there was that loophole about the child will not uh, be born. Whereas, whereas that was technically true, it didn't mean that Connor was going to die. So there was a, a loophole. So, you know, this could be an emotional death, like Angel will emot emotionally kill Connor. I don't know. Um, but like I said, there's always, there's always a little twist. There's always another layer on top of the prophecy. So, uh, I'm taking that message with a grain of salt. There we go. That's all I can really do right now. Uh, until of course we do get to that moment, whenever that will be, or find out a bit more regarding the prophecy. But yeah, um, this was a really fun episode with vibes of heartache, of course, with me, like I said, the timing was really, really terrible with um, Cordy and Angel. I feel like in the last episode were pushed on another level um, for them to, to well, for, for what looked like a romantic uh, way was going to be paved, but then the gruesome look returned. And uh, yeah, like I said, the timing was really, really impeccable. But there was a, uh, there was something really, really comedic, and it was also sad because you were sympathizing with um, Angel and Wesley, but also it was very comedical in terms of how Angel was like uh, in denial and um, the Grusalug himself. He like this is a whole new world for him, literally, and uh, he's just yeah. So yeah. Um, it was a really, really uh, great way to, to you know, um, push things further along um, with uh, Angel and that, I don't know. It, 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 it's the reaction um, from the last episode compared to this episode, Angel and Cordy I'm talking about. Uh, it, it's 
kind of an interesting way to play it along because I think she's so infatuated by the Grusalug and, uh, you know, head over heels over him. So it's like, yeah, uh, that she's not recognizing the hurt, especially after the event of the last episode. Like, I think I talked about it in the last episode, but I echoed similar comments with Gunn. And, um, you know, he uh, there's, there's more of an obvious... Um, sentiment i guess with cordy uh with with uh, wesley and gun because them two have both fantasized over fred and uh, gun has come out the winner so yeah but with cordy i think uh there's a bit more of an oblivious step no one was uh well she was she i i don't think she was as uh, i don't think there was as much of an obvious statement that Angel had the hots for her. Um, to the point she didn't expect the gruesome look to show up. And uh, they can now resume how they felt at the end of uh, season two. So, yeah. But um, it was really, really heartbreaking in terms of watching Angel and um, Wesley's perspectives that... It went to that scene where Wesley was commenting about Angel and how everyone was brought together because of him and uh, the fact that um, he is one of a kind. That was a really, really beautiful uh, bit as well as a bit funny afterwards saying, I got free. <laughs> um, no, but it was really good. Like, not only is it a nice uh, pick me up for Angel, but also... Uh, but also um, both men are feeling hurt because they have lost out on the opportunity to bag the person that they felt really, really um, affected by. They they lost the chance on uh, form um, forming this relationship with that other person, and there is uh, there is feelings of hurt. There is feelings of um, like. Uh, that it's 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 a painful situation they're both in right now so they are having each other's back so i really liked that bit so yeah but um i i found wesley's story to be very interesting as well because of the fact that we were looking at i feel like with angel and how he's feeling uh defeated with the gruselogs uh not just return but also him acquiring um Cordy's heart I feel like there's a more humorous level whereas there is a more um I don't know I would say concerning level especially with the way he was trying to send Gunn out on that uh, mission on his own he was like I could really feel like he was trying to be like okay Gunn I need you to go so yeah um because seeing um like you even saw that bit where he was trying to counsel out Gunn like when when he was on the call and he was yeah um there is a lot more. Uh, it, it, there's a lot more concern with with Wesley and um, you know his feelings, but I really liked that bit at the very end because I feel like both Angel and uh, Wesley had a kind of realization of sorts with uh, what Angel did uh, with Cordy and uh, the Grusalug, especially you know um, trying to make him more impressionable with Cordy. Um, contrary to what actually happened with that demon tree thing that was really really eerie um but with wesley as well he was just wanting gun to make sure that fred was happy and you know i really really loved um that bit uh that bit because there was a bit of like I, I feel like in this episode there was just a lot of like communication issues that was going on with the worry of fred and Go um going to how wesley will perceive them and this new relationship and cordy and angel cordy couldn't really read the room um and angel even hurt to the point where he was questioning is he going is the grusella going to re replace me so yeah um it was really, really uh, good to have Wesley just be there to uh, for, like, realize it hurts and I've accepted that. But I'm going to be respectful. Like, he said earlier in this episode about how he doesn't want, you know, relationships within the office to be compromised and whatnot. And he doesn't want to contradict that. So, thus, he's asking Gunn to keep Fred safe because he's wanting them to... to you know, he, he doesn't want to jeopardize that relationship because of the fact that Fred Fred wanted gun. And 
you know, whilst it hurts and there's going to be a lot of like pain inside him and even bits of jealousy, he's not going to, like I said, contradict that message he said. He's doing the right thing. Um, and he is, you know, showing strength in that leadership by sacrificing something that I guess is desirable, but he's got to keep a strong head. He's got to, like, he can't, he, Fred, that's it. Fred made a choice at the end of the day. Um, as did Cordy, um, but there is a more, I guess, obvious triangle, um, whereas Cordy doesn't really, you know, see it, does she? So, um, but there is a more obvious triangle, I feel, with, um, with Gunn, Wesley, and Fred, and, um, Gunn, uh, Wesley is respecting that, so, whilst it will still hurt, yeah. Uh, and now Angel is, um, like, I feel like it would hurt seeing, um, the gruesome, he, he, he needs time to, I guess, process, and thus he's not only wanting time to process these feelings of what Cord uh, of Cordy choosing the Grootsalug, but also he's wanting Cordy to be happy. So I think there is uh, that notion with um, uh, Angel sending the pair away. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I really thought this was a, uh, yeah, like I said, that it, it, it feels weird because... <sighs> You know, I was wanting Angel and Cordy to have a thing going on. And uh, it's this case of um, there is a lot of hilarity with this episode, especially the Grusalog, especially with the whole thing with with him wearing Angel's clothing. That was just really weird. But um, yeah, like I said, this episode did a good job at exploring uh, communication issues that were going on. And um, um, both parties, both pairings... Um, having to take that uh, big, well, I say both pairings, uh, both Angel and um, Wesley, they have to make this big step in terms of acceptance. This is, it is what it is. It's, it sucks. And you do feel for them. But I think with the end of the episode, they both realized they had to be the bigger person. And they, ha and whilst it sucks that they didn't get um, their retrospective partners, um, it just hurts a lot more for Wesley because, you know, you have Angel with Connor and, uh, what does Wesley have? So, um, uh, let's have Wesley, Wesley and Lorn, like, banter it up and, yeah. And we haven't had much things with them too, so, you know, why don't they just become great buddies and whatnot? So, yeah. Um... But yeah, uh, there was a lot of uh, communication issues that was explored as well as characters feeling lesser because it wasn't just uh, Angel who was worried about his reputation. and ha Like, there was even that shot where the Grusalug could obviously go outside and Angel couldn't because vampire and whatnot. And um, it stung because it's like, oh, everyone... like it, Especially with this whole champion malarkey, it stung seeing the Grusalog be celebrated. And then there's Angel, who's like in the shadows. No one can see it. Well, they could, but it's not like uh, anyone celebrated Angel's efforts because, well, they couldn't because Angel couldn't step outside. But the whole point of Angel feeling lesser than uh, the Grusalog and the Grusalog is going to, you know, replace him. There's that you've got to consider. And then there's Cordy about feeling lesser, which this comment was echoed um, earlier this um, season with uh, Cordy losing her abilities because, of course, the pain was getting too much. And um, this time it was completely different because of the whole ritual passing on the thing, uh, passing on the visions, etc., um, so yeah, um, there was that feeling. And then there's, of course, the whole situation with the Grusalog and, and his reasonings for returning to Earth as well, like, um, with the political situation getting out of hand as well, it seems on pilot. I think that was mentioned in the last episode by Lorne, but, um, we got further into it. We got more deeper. So yeah, but, um, yeah, fun episode. Um, yeah, it was weird. It was very, very fun, 
but it was also very heartbreaking, especially on the angel end. But I think that's because of my angel heart. But otherwise, it was it it had a lot of funny moments. It had a lot of cute moments as well because I'm really loving Fred and Gun. Fred and Gun are just adorable. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen because I feel like uh, there is going to be more with Fred and Gun uh, to be explored. Even though that Wesley has given them the green light, essentially. Um, I'm just expecting, you know, things to just, because we couldn't have Frangel, we couldn't have, uh, Kangel, so what else? Is this just giving me a false sense of hope, or is Good and, uh, is Good and Fred, you know, in this for the long run? We'll just have to wait and see, because, you know, this show, and, and Buffy, I guess, it plays with your heart. You, you can get so uh, attached and uh, hope just gets destroyed. And Fred and Gunn, they're too cute. So I'm just worried that something's going to happen because we can't, we can't, we can't accept cuteness, apparently. So, but um, I can't think negatively. I'm here for this. So in my head, Fred and Gunn, happily ever after the end. So, um, it would be nice if that does happen, but like I said, I have my reasons with Buffy, with the Buffyverse and relationships that, you know, Angel, look at that. Like, we even had that in Angel, and I, I was a mess, so I have my reasons. This show, this show and Buffy have given me trust issues when it comes to relationships, so... <laughs> Anyways, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, fun episode of uh, Buffy. Uh, Buffy Angel. Um, no, that's what I'm watching uh, next in terms of the uh, whole Buffy first schedule. I think. But uh, yeah, it was a fun episode of Angel. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more bike content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!